Hi everyone, namaste, welcome to practice. For today's yin class, you will need a bolster or a, just a long fluffy pillow would also work. And um, you could use one or two blocks. We may or may not need them. You can have them within vicinity. We'll start off in a posture called toe squats. So go ahead and bend the knees and sit back onto the heels with the toes curled under. If this is extremely uncomfortable on the knees, then you can pad the knees with the, a soft pillow underneath them or use a blanket. And at any time during the practice, if it does get uncomfortable, you can simply come into an all fours position, stretch your legs out and then come back and join us on the next posture within this pose itself. So while we take a few minutes in this pose, I'll call out some affirmations upon hearing which you can reflect upon these. Perhaps even mentally repeat these I am safe. I am safe. As you allow this affirmation to settle in, let the rhythm of your breath become steady and slow. Yin Yoga provides us a beautiful opportunity to turn inwards and to focus on our breath and allow the breath to become our guiding force. practice of yin yoga is such that we spend a few minutes on each side in each pose to allow for the body to settle and become still. This then has a ripple effect on the breath as it becomes steady and still. This then has an effect on the mind, allowing the mind to become still and steady. safe. I am safe. Stay with the posture, just a few more breaths now. Begin to come out of the pose into an all fours position and simply stretch one leg out at a time, relaxing, releasing the toes. And from here, we move into a posture called Deer's Pose. So, for Deer's Pose, 
bend your right knee so the right shin is parallel to the front edge of your mat or the side edge so there's a 90 degree angle at the back of your right knee bend your left knee so the left thigh is parallel to the right shin and there's a 90 degree angle in the left knee as well so there's two it's 90 90 position where you've got two right angles at the back of the knee you can rest your forearms on a block or your bolster or you can rest your forearms onto the mat and use the block to rest your forehead upon and you can choose the height of the block whether tall height or medium or low height or if you prefer to simply fold your forearms over each other and rest your forehead on them that's fine too remember in any of our postures we do not wish to feel any discomfort on the knee or any other part of the body making contact with the floor so if the left knee in this case feels uncomfortable because it is pressing down onto the mat then you can use a blanket or a folded towel to place underneath that left knee repeat silently to yourself there is enough for everyone including me there is enough for everyone including me and with every breath here allow the body to soften notice if you are notice if you are holding any tension or tightness in the right glutes area or the right hip or the right thigh and if you are with every exhalation soften and ease and ease your way into the pose the area of the stretch here is the right glute and the right IT band and quite often we hold tension in the glute or we tend to clench the jaw or the glutes or the thigh or the hip So if you are feeling any restriction, let that go. Let that go with every breath in and out. There is enough for everyone, including me. There is enough for everyone, including me. And bring yourself out of the posture. And switch legs. Now have the left shin parallel to the front. 90 degree angle. Have the right knee in line with the right hip. The right ankle in line with the right knee. And once again fold forward. Rest the forehead on a block. You can choose to rest your forearms on the bolster or another block. Or if you prefer to not use the props and rest the forehead on the forearms, you may take that option as well.
on this side silently repeat the affirmation friends and family love and support me friends and family love and support me let these words sink deep within your psyche let these words and these affirmations provide for a healing supportive nature Just a few more breaths now. Friends and family love and support me. Friends and family love and support me. And from here, bring yourself out of the posture. Stretch your legs out to the front, relax your arms to the back. Just pause and feel the rebound of energy after practicing deer pose on both sides. We'll take half butterfly pose, bend your left knee, bring the sole of the foot to touch the right inner thigh. You may choose to use the bolster like I have to rest on the right thigh. Reach the arms forward and relax the arms to the sides and rest the chest on top of the bolster. If you wish to use a block instead of the bolster, especially underneath the forehead on the inside of the right shin, you can use a block. If you prefer not to use props, you can simply fold the chest over the right thigh, over the right leg, and relax your arms by the side. Silently repeat the affirmation, all of my needs are met. All of my needs are met. Half butterfly pose, also called Janu Sirshasana, is an excellent way to lengthen and elongate the hamstrings, the three bellied group of muscles that rest at the back of the thigh. They're quite stubborn in nature, so any attention 
any love to the hamstrings is very much appreciated. Allow yourself to sink into the posture. Allow for a sense of release, a sense of surrender. Use the breath, especially the exhalation, to soften the upper body towards the lower body. All of my needs are met. All of my needs are met. Gradually bring yourself out of the pose and we'll switch legs, bend the other knee, bring the sole of the foot to touch the left inner thigh and reach the chest forward onto the cushion or the pillow or the bolster or perhaps you'd prefer to use a block or perhaps none of the props. Silently repeat the affirmation. I attract abundance in all areas of my life. I attract abundance in all areas of my life.
just a few more breaths now. I attract abundance in all areas of my life. I attract abundance in all areas of my life. And gently bring yourself out of the pose. Relax the arms out to the back. Relax the legs. Close your eyes. And from here, open your eyes as we take the next pose called a dragon pose. Manage your way into an all fours position. I like to use a padding underneath my knees. You can choose to use the cushion or the folded blanket or a bolster underneath the left knee while you step your right foot on the outside of the right hand. Begin to lower the hips and stretch the top or the anterior surface of the left thigh, the hip flexors. You can rest the hands on two blocks or on the mat if you prefer to use fists, you can use fists of hands as well. We're really after the left thigh here, so the, and the hip flexors of the left thigh. So it really doesn't matter how you position the hands. It should be fairly comfortable so you can feel a stretch in the desired area. Silently repeating the affirmation, my needs are valid. My needs are valid. And gradually come out of this pose. If you wish to take a quick child's pose in between, you can. Otherwise, we'll change legs. Step the left foot forward on the outside of the left 
and right hand. Pad the back knee using a towel, a folded blanket or a bolster. If you wish to use blocks underneath the hands, please use them. I prefer to reach the center of my heart forward and keep the head and neck lifted. You may choose to release the back of the neck. And silently repeat the affirmation, I can take care of myself. I can take care of myself. Gradually come out of the pose and we rest in child's posture. Separate the knees, mat width apart. Bring your bolster close. Rest the chest on the bolster. If you don't have a bolster or a pillow, that's fine too. You can rest your arms forward onto the mat, forehead to the mat or a block. Just a few moments of rest. Now lift the body up and arrange yourself into Shavasana. I prefer to use the bolster underneath my knees here. You can, you don't need to have a pillow underneath the knees. Rest the weight of the body back onto the mat. Relax the hands by the sides of the hips, palms upward. Close your eyes and let the body fully rest and relax.
begin to bring awareness back to the body. Stretch the arms up and over. Give yourself a nice good stretch. Bend your knees. Roll fully to the right side. And manage your way to come up into a comfortable seated posture. Bring your palms to touch in front of your heart center. Always being grateful to the body. And we close our practice. Go ahead and rub your palms, create warmth, and hover the hands over the eyes. Wrap your palms together. Hover the palms over your face. Rub your palms. And take this warmth from the top of the head, the sides, the shoulders, the hands, the feet, the legs, as you gradually open your eyes. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a wonderful day ahead.